the MHV2000 Micro Hardness Tester. The features of the Micro Hardness Tester include applied forces ranging from 10 to 2000 grams, auto loading and unloading, programmable LCD screen, and auto conversion. The MHV2000 Micro Hardness Tester. The power switch is located in the back. Let's go ahead and turn that on. The first step is to calibrate the filer system. The filer system has an eyepiece that is adjustable here to adjust the focus. What I recommend doing in order to increase the measurement accuracy is to focus that eyepiece and the lines inside so that they're in focus for your, for your eyesight. Once you've accomplished that, now what we have to do is we have to set the filer to zero. And the way the filer works is this small knob here will move the lines back and forth this way. The larger knob here will change the distance between them. So what we need to do is we need to bring the lines so they're just barely touching. And once we do that, we press the CLR button here. That will set our calibers to zero. The MHV2000 control panel. There are a number of parameters that have been pre-programmed into the program settings. These would include the mode, which can be either a Vicker scale or a Noop scale, the dwell time, the light intensity, the conversion chart scale, and the timestamp. To change any of these parameters, we need to go into the programming mode. So by pressing the OK button here, we see a cursor comes up. So now we can change this parameter. Right now it's set for micro Vickers. To change that to, to Noop, we can see that with Noop, we only have to measure one diagonal length. So let's go back and change this to Vickers. With Vickers, we have to measure both diagonals, D1 and D2. So let's leave it on micro Vickers. And dwell time, we can change the dwell time to either be shorter or longer by scrolling up and down. The light intensity, we can change that here. So let's change it to 100%. The conversion scale, right now it's set for HRC. We'll just leave it there. And then if we needed to change any of the parameters in this date stamp, we could come in here. The initial parameter would be year, then it would be month, day, and hour. And to get out of this programming mode, all we have to do is press the OK button. A couple of the other parameters on the screen here include the save. So after we've completed a measurement, if it was a good measurement, we can go ahead and press the save button. If for some reason at a later time that we need to take a look at that data, we can pull it up with the tab A. L minus and L plus would be the light intensity going to the filer. CLR is actually clear. So after we calibrate our filer to zero, we would hit clear to set that to zero. For example, if we take a look at the filer over here and set a number, we hit clear, that sets it to zero. Delete would delete the measurement that we just made. PRT would send the results to a printer. And the start button would start the indentation cycle. Making a measurement with the MHV2000 micro hardness tester. After calibrating the filer, and setting it to zero. What we want to do is focus on the sample. This is perhaps the most difficult part about taking a measurement with a micro hardness tester. For those of you that haven't worked with the micro hardness tester much in the past, what I'd recommend is that you focus with the 10x objective, which is going to be a little bit easier. So you can see on the screen here, there is a feature on the sample. In this particular sample, it's a calibration standard. So we could focus on the scribing material or the scribing marks that are on the sample. And that's in pretty good focus there. So now let's rotate it over to the 40X objective. The reason I like to focus on the 40X objective is because this is where we're going to be making our measurements. And that way we don't have to dig around trying to find the focus on the indent after we've made it. So you see we still get this little feature over here. So we should be all set to make the indent. Now for setting up the parameters here, we can adjust the load with this knob over here. And right now we have it set for 1,000 grams. It is possible to use a 2,000 gram load on the MHV2000. 
we do that, we're going to have to go into the programming mode to change this parameter here to the higher load. And you see this goes up to the higher load. But since we're only using the 2000 or the 1000 gram load, we'll go ahead and enter this. So we'll go ahead and press enter to get back out of the program. So we have our scale chosen, we have our dwell time, our light intensity, conversion scale, and other parameters already loaded. At this point, let's go ahead and rotate over to the indenter, and we're all set to start our measurement. So let's press the start button. And at this point, we do not want to move the sample or change the turret. Uh, if we do, we could potentially damage the diamond. And you can see here it's loading, so it does give you an indication here. And you see this counting down here. So the sample is now ready to be analyzed. So let's go ahead and rotate the 40X objective over. And we can bring this more into the field of view here. And then what we'll do is we'll focus on that indent. Let me go ahead and focus on the indent up here. So what we want to do at this point is we want to move the left filer to the left edge of the indent. Let me go ahead and rotate that just a little bit to be coincide with the filer. And so let's go ahead and move the left filer to the left side of the indent. And then the larger right filer will move to the other side of the indent so that the indent is in between the filer. Once we have that set, We'll accept the measurement by pressing this button here. You'll hear it beep. And then for Vickers, we need to rotate this 90 degrees and measure the other indent. So again, we'll line it up. And then once that's selected, we'll go ahead and press the button. And now our measurement is given here. So the test block is a 462 test block and we're measuring 460.8. So I would say that, uh, that we're within the spec for that measurement. Now if we wanted to print it, what we would do is we would hit the print button here. And it would print the results on thermal paper printing out the size. Go ahead and start the indent. See the load is being applied. And the dwell time is counting down. Then we see the load is being removed. And that buzzer means that the indent is out of the way. So now we go ahead and rotate the turret to the 40x objective. And what we do is we'll focus on the indent and then we'll move the left filer to the left side of the indent and then the right filer to the right side of the indent. And once that is acceptable, we'll go ahead and press the accept button. Now we'll rotate the filer 90 degrees and measure the diagonal in the other direction. Accept. And this is our measured value. So if that's a good value we can add that by pressing save. Now by pressing tab A we can go into the menu and we can see the measurements that we've already made.
and then there's a minimum, average, and maximum. If this is all the measurements that we want to take and we want to print out the results, we can now go to the print button. And we hear the printer printing out the results. By pressing OK, we can get back to the primary screen. To utilize a 2000 gram load on a MHV 2000, first remove the weight stack cover, then add the secondary 1000 gram weight, adjust the knob to the highest value, which is 1000 grams, and then change the parameters on the control panel.